What's up guys, I'm back with another review of the official NBA game ball. This is an update to my last video. In my previous video, I showed you guys an NBA game ball. However, that game ball was discontinued after the 2005 NBA season. Uh, after that, in the 2006 NBA season, a new ball was introduced. However, that ball was rejected right away after one year, and this has been the game ball ever since. So, right now, this is a few days after LeBron James just won his first NBA championship. This is the current ball, as well as the ball that's been, been used since 2007. So this is what the box looks like. Uh, this ball usually retails around $100. I think it retails at $170 on NBA.com, but pretty much everywhere else sells it for about $100. So this is what the box looks like. It says NBA Game Ball. It has to say Official Game Ball right there and nothing underneath. I know some balls say Official Game Ball Series or something like that and, you know, something underneath. Indoor, outdoor, or something like that. That is not the Official NBA Game Ball. It has to just say Official NBA Game Ball. That's it. And like I said, if it's... Uh, around a hundred dollars then you're purchasing the right one so this is what the box looks like pause it if you want to read it pause it if you want to read that and once again pause that if you want to read it anyways I'm gonna go ahead and open it up So here we have it. Here's the official NBA game ball. Contrary to popular belief, the real basketballs actually aren't that orange. Um, they're actually more like a brownish orange. They're pretty dark. So this is what it looks like. As you notice, everything on the ball is actually engraved and indented into the ball. It is not flat. It's actually, I don't know if you guys could tell, but there's, it's, this is not even. There's all, all this spalding, every engraving on here. There's, you know, it's not even. I'll get later, I'll get, I'll focus on that later. Anyways, here's the ball. Official NBA game ball. David Stern Commissioner. Alright, so that's what it looks like. This is the basketball I had in my previous video. As you can tell, these this is, like I said, this game ball was used up until 2005. This is what the NBA game balls look like, so there's not that much of a difference. Um, you know, some slight differences. You have a little S at the top now. Looks slightly different. This is the other side of it. That's where it says that official game ball. And then another difference is where you inflate the ball. Before, that's what it would look like. And now, that's what it looks like. Not that many differences. There's definitely a difference in the feel of the ball. But, you know, looks-wise, everything's very slightly different. So that, you know, this is the ball, if you want to play with what the pl the ball the pros play with, go ahead and get this. Um, it was also, I actually have two of these balls, official NBA game balls, and you probably can't tell on the camera, but these balls are actually very different. It's been brought to my attention that apparently there's two different models of the game ball that are being sold. There's these ones that come with a serial number with a C on the bottom and then there's ones that are more like the game model that have a U on the bottom. There's a very big, very, very big difference when it comes to playing. If you want to play with it, do not get one of these balls. The difference with these basketballs is none of the letters right here are engraved. 
It's just like a sticker, basically, that was put on. And it makes, as you can see, the, the letters rub off very, very easily, which makes the ball look very ugly. And, yeah, it just makes it look worse. But, even worse than that is that these balls are extremely slippery to play with. They're covered with some sort of coating that basically makes them look nicer, but they're pretty bad to play with. I honestly, I have no idea why the NBA even sells these basketballs. I think they're completely useless. I think maybe they're they're for autograph purposes. I don't know, but anyways, these the way you can tell these balls, these balls are way more orange than their actual game balls. If you see an orange ball, do not get it if you intend to play with it, even if it is the official game ball. Another difference is that the grooves in the actual you know, game issued game ball is that the grooves in the ball are a lot deeper, which enhances grip. Like I said, also these balls are a lot, they're browner than these balls because they don't have that glossy finish and therefore the grip on this basketball is a lot better. And then the last difference on there is that these basketballs, like I said, everything on here is engraved. And it's it's cut into the ball, whereas in this basketball, the cheaper version of the official game ball, as you can see, it's not engraved. It's basically just a sticker. When I run my finger over the ball, as you can see, it's all flat right there over the letters. It's all flat. Whereas in the real game ball, the one they use in games, there's a there's a slight dip. As you can see right here, there's a slight bump in the basketball. Because everything is actually engraved into there. It's not it's not on a flat surface. So basically if you want a ball to play with, make sure everything is engraved. It should not be orange or anything like that. It should be a dark brown and that and uh yeah, that's the one they actually play with. Also, apparently the basketballs that are game issued, the ones that they actually use in games, apparently their their codes or whatever start with a U. And I've noticed that basketballs like this start with a C, as you can see. So, like I said, I really don't know. It's really annoying that the NBA puts out a product such as this. I really don't know what the purpose of this is. I think it's probably just for autographs or something because it looks a lot nicer, but it's pretty much unplayable. Well, not unplayable, but it, there's a drastic difference in the quality between these these two kinds of balls, and yet th they are the same exact price, and they're bo they both come in the same exact box, and they're both marketed as official NBA game balls. But as you can see, there's drastic differences, especially when you play in them. So if you get one of these balls and you intend on playing with them, I strongly encourage you to return it and buy and just wait it out and buy a new one and uh, you know if you want to play with it definitely get one of these from what I've heard that most of them like I said the the real game balls the ones that they use in games they start with the U at the bottom however you know I'm like 99% sure about that but the only real way to tell is just make sure that when you buy it it's not shiny. It's actually going to be a lot browner and uglier probably than you'd expect if you've never seen an official NBA game ball. And a real way to tell is just make sure that the letters are actually engraved. Everything on the ball is actually engraved. But yeah, this is a great ball.
Guys, I encourage you to go out and buy it. The only downside of this is that it does take about two to three months of playing time to break in. When it comes, it's made out of pure leather and it's very stiff when you buy it. However, all it takes is some breaking in, and after that, it'll probably be the best ball you ever played with. Uh, once again, I hope this helps. If anyone out there is wondering what the real NBA pros play with, this is it. Doesn't get any better than this. I hope that if you enjoyed this review, please help me out, guys, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.